Planets in Science Fiction, Wikipedia Article Audio Planets in science fiction are fictional planets that appear in various media of the science fiction genre as story settings or depicted locations. History Before Galileo turned his telescope to the heavens, the planets of the solar system were not recognized as worlds, or places where a person could potentially set foot, they were visible to observers merely as bright points of light distinguishable from stars only by their motion. In the system of Claudius Ptolemy, the Alexandrian astronomer whose works were the basis of all European astronomy throughout the Middle Ages and Renaissance, the planets were lights set into a series of transparent spheres turning around the Earth, which was the center of the one and only universe. Dante, in his Paradiso, describes the ascent of his narrator through the spheres of the moon, the planets from Mercury to Saturn, and thence to the sphere of the fixed stars and the heavens of the angels. Dante implies that the light of the planets is a combination of light imparted by divine will and the radiance of the blessed souls that inhabit the spheres. These planets are, however, entirely ethereal, they have light but no physical form and no geography. Planet Lists Ludovico Ariosto, in his epic Orlando Furioso, jestingly sent his hero to a moon where everything lost on Earth eventually turns up, but it was not until Galileo discovered that the moon had surface features, and that the other planets could, at least, be resolved into disks that the concept that the planets were real physical bodies came to be taken seriously. In 1543, Nicolaus Copernicus had already posited that the planets orbited the Sun as the Earth does, combined, these two concepts led to the thought that the planets might be worlds similar to the Earth. Public expression of such concepts could be dangerous, however. Giordano Bruno was martyred in 1604, among other things, imagining an infinite number of other worlds, and claiming that innumerable suns exist, innumerable earths revolve about these suns. Living beings inhabit these worlds in De El Infinito Universo e Mondi. Literature At the time, such speculation was of a rather rarefied sort, and was limited to astronomers like Christian Huygens who wrote a book, Cosmotheoros Considering the Possibility of Life on Other Planets, or to philosophers like Campanella, who wrote in defense of Galileo. The concept of life on distant planets was not, however, much utilized in fiction. The most popular target of 17th century science fiction was the moon Godwin, Cyrano, and Defoe. Oddly, none of these fictions made use of the lunar maps contemporaneously created by Hevelius, Richelieu, and others. Comics It was quite some time before such extraordinary voyages went beyond the lunar sphere. Eberhard Kinderman sent an airship to the planets in 1744 in Die Geschwind Ries auf dem Luffet Schiff nach der Obern Welt, while a traveler from the star Sirius passes inward through the solar system, stopping at various planets in Voltaire s Micromegas, followed by another outward voyage in Marie and Rumir Robert s Voyage de Milord Seton dans les September planets. These stories were generally unscientific and tended towards the satirical rather than the purely entertaining, their subject matter was probably inspired by the popular writings of Fontenelle, notably his Entretien sur la pluralite des mondes. Film and Television With the rapid developments in the magnifying and resolving power of telescopes in the course of the 19th century, it finally became possible to distinguish surface features on other planets and even to draw maps of some of them, notably Mars. In 1877, 
as F. Hall reported two moons of Mars and Giovanni Schiaparelli found the surface of Mars to be adorned with continents, seas, and channels, and a very suitable habitat for life. From the beginning of the 1880s, fictions some more, some less scientific involving travels to and from Mars began to be produced in great quantities, even though the observations of Percival Lowell required reassessment of Mars as a more marginal desert planet. Mars remained a favored destination for fictional travelers down to the early 1960s. Since probes revealed the absence of any indications of intelligent life on Mars, the science fictional Mars has changed to a possible future home for the human race, e.g. through terraforming. Animation Venus was never quite so popular as Mars, probably because it obdurately refused to display any surface features, making any statement about its nature disturbingly speculative. In 1918, chemist Svante Arrhenius, deciding that Venus cloud cover was necessarily water, decreed in the destinies of the stars that a very great part of the surface of Venus is no doubt covered with swamps and compared Venus humidity to the tropical rainforests of the Congo. Venus thus became, until the early 1960s, a place for science fiction writers to place all manner of unusual life forms, from quasi-dinosaurs to intelligent carnivorous plants, and where hostile interactions with Venusian natives were reminiscent of European colonial projects in Africa and Asia. In fact Venus's surface is hot enough to melt lead, and it is extremely hostile to life. Various planets of the solar system were used as settings for science fiction stories in the first half of the 20th century, but dissatisfaction with the limits imposed by science led many writers early on to forsake the solar system for fictional planets around distant stars. As increasing knowledge of the solar system made the prospects of life in the vicinity of Earth marginal at best, the extrasolar planet has become almost the only venue for contemporary science fiction. Computer slash video games other games Other Planet types In many works of science fiction, planets are only described casually, as points of origin and departure, or as interchangeable backdrops for space battles. This is particularly true of space opera. In other works, the planet takes center stage as the primary scene of events, and particular attention is paid to its environment and any culture that may exist on it. Adventure stories that stick to a single, well-described planet are sometimes called planetary romances, some of these planets are not very realistic and are effectively fantasy worlds. Planets may be treated in different ways depending both on the interests of the author and the genre he or she is writing in. In some stories, a planet is mainly considered as an object in space, the interest of the fiction depends upon its astronomical characteristics, such as its mass, its geological composition, its atmosphere, how many moons it has and what size they are, how close it is to its sun and how hot they are. Such considerations are found prominently though not exclusively in the hard science fiction genre. In other stories, a planet is considered as a world or setting. Such a planet will be described from the point of view of a person dwelling on it, rather than from the point of view of an outside observer, the fiction may describe its geography, its history, and the social and cultural characteristics of its civilizations. Since authors usually adopt human protagonists, such planets are typically described as very hospitable to human life and, other than in geography, nearly indistinguishable from Earth, Brian Stableford calls such planets Earth clones. Conversely some fictional worlds are never more than marginally habitable, 
which has a profound effect on societies that developed or moved there. Numerous examples of this are to be found in the known space stories of Larry Niven. In some works of fiction, such as Pornell's Codominium or Cards Ender's game series, certain planets are settled by specific ethnic groups. However, in novels set in distant futures, e.g. Dune, the inhabitants have usually forgotten about the original settlers. While some authors choose to treat a planet in depth, considering it to have a wide diversity of geography, climate, politics, and culture, others prefer to characterize their planets by some single global characteristic. Many of these uniform settings have become stereotypes, used in a variety of science fictional works. Such stereotypes include, the planet covered by a single city, the planet whose surface is entirely desert, the planet covered by ocean, with no land masses, the planet on which it is perpetually winter, the planet that is self-aware, and the planet which has been artificially constructed. Other planets appear in humorous or comical settings, sometimes spoofing more conventional science fiction. Such planets are often described with no pretense to scientific accuracy, their strange characteristics are primarily intended to amuse. For the Star Trek universe, a detailed planetary classification system has been devised, it is not actually used by scientists. Four planets from specific fictional milieu, use the following lists and categories. For a more scientific approach to classifying planet types from Orion's arm. Non-luminary world classification scheme, Cadre's planetary classification system, the Ice planets have figured prominently in science fiction, such as Hoth an ice planet featured in The Empire Strikes Back, or Gethin, an ice planet in the novel The Left Hand of Darkness by Ursula K. L. E. Ginn. An ice planet named Fichina is featured in the Star Fox video game series. Ancient Mesa is a venue in F-Zero Maximum Velocity. Its tracks includes the split and skating circuits. Another ice planet appears in the name of White Land in every other F-Zero games. Described as covered in crystals in the first game, its appearance in the anime F-Zero, Falcon Densetsu and the games based on this media shows ice and snow as the dominant features of this venue. Starkiller Base was originally an ice world in the Unknown Regions until the First Order converted it into a super-weapon that destroyed the New Republic. Lava worlds can be seen occasionally in science fiction. In Star Wars, one such planet is Mustafar, with its heat caused by tidal forces from nearby gas giants. Mustafar scenes take place in Star Wars, Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. A lava world called Solar is also featured in Star Fox 64. A venue named Firefield appears in the F-Zero franchise, where it is the last track of the King League in the first game. It is also notable for being one of the few venues to appear in every game of the franchise. The Pyronite homeworld in Ben 10 is a planet-like star called which has multiple active volcanoes. Before, and certainly after, the results sent back by the Viking landers, some science fiction set on Mars portrayed it as a desert planet. Science fiction stories that do so include Other desert planets have been used as story motifs in fictional works. Video game Contains planets not found in the preceding lists. These planets are identical or nearly identical to Earth physically, but have a history that differs to some degree from that of our Earth. 
Some writers, scientists, and artists have speculated about artificial worlds or planet equivalents, these planets include Ice planets Some invented planets have physically impossible shapes, and may be regarded as fantasy worlds. These planets are not so much carefully constructed worlds as they are humorous backgrounds or gag references in various comedy shows and games. Lava planets Ocean planets Desert planets The anime series Cowboy Bebop repeatedly portrayed Mars as a prominent colonized world in the 21st century. It serves as a central hub for the solar system after Earth was left mostly uninhabitable following the Warp Gateway disaster, Lee Brackett S. Martian Stories, in which Mars is largely desert with sporadic oases of civilization, Larry Niven S. Known space novels and short stories, where water is completely alien to the biochemistry of the planet's inhabitants. Ray Bradbury s The Martian Chronicles collection of short stories depict Mars as a mostly hospitable desert home to first an indigenous Martian civilization, who are displaced by an encroaching Homo sapiens population. The stories use a Cowboys vs Indians theme which benefits from the red desert backdrop of Mars, Kim Stanley Robinson s Mars Trilogy where Mars is gradually terraformed from a frozen desert planet to a more hospitable Earth-like environment, Martian Time Slip, by Philip K. Dick, in which Mars has been colonized by Earth's UN, scarce water is closely apportioned, and the president of the Water Workers Union is one of the more powerful figures, the 2000 film Mission to Mars is about a difficult Rescue attempt following a disaster during the first manned NASA voyage to this red wasteland that is Mars, humanoid Martians are discovered to have once been native inhabitants, and the Cydonia Mensi face formation is used as a major plot device. The 2000 film Red Planet is about a terraforming expedition from Earth to Mars gone awry due to voracious indigenous Martian insects. Earth's Australian and Jordanian deserts were used as filming locations in the Star Trek universe. Mars is the first planet to be terraformed by the people of Earth, and by the 24th century, its orbital utopia Planitia shipyards are a key Starfleet facility. The Sands of Mars by Arthur C. Clarke, The Three Stigmata of Palmer Eldritch, also by Philip K. Dick, set primarily on Mars. Drafted colonists, such as those in the ironically named Feinberg Crescent region, relieve the bleakness of Martian life by huddling in hovels and taking psychedelic drugs, Total Recall, in which Mars is inhabited by mutants and laborers and air is supplied at attacks. Earth Prime and Chromag Prime from the Sliders television program, Strang Aerial from the Ace Combat series featuring different countries and continents, Terra Obscura in the Terra Obscura comic book. Mars as a Desert Planet Dyson Sphere Freeman Dyson, Gia John Varley, Globus Cassis Christian Waldvogel Hegira an artificial planet in the novel of the same name by Greg Bear, Cobalt an artificial environment made by the protector Jack Brennan in the novel Protector by Larry Niven, Obelisk Planet Stargate Universe, Onyx a forerunner created Shield World which is the main setting of the novel, Orbital from Ian Banks Culture Series, 10 million kilometer rings which spin to simulate gravity and orbit a Star Like a Planet, Pender Elf Sternberg, Planet X an artificial planet in the video game Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters, Ring World Larry Niven, Septera a planet with seven layers of floating continents. From the video game Septera Core, Shell World, planet-sized objects which contain many layers of concentric shells each of which is a habitable environment with a complete atmosphere. 
Heat and light provided by fusion reactors attached or rolling across each ceiling. Strata, a novel by Terry Pratchett, includes an unnamed artificial flat world. Titan as a desert world. Fictional desert planets. Disc world a flat, disc shaped planet, supported on the backs of giant elephants riding on a turtle. In Terry Pratchett's Discworld series, World of Tears a planet-sized step pyramid with a different environment on each step, in Philip Jose Farmer's book series of the same name. Urazan a prison planet featured in the comic novel Bikini Planet by David S. Garnett. It is colloquially known as Clink. Dave and Alvin twin planets in solar orbit beyond Pluto on the TV show ALF, Druidia home of the Druids, ruled by King Roland and Princess Vespa in the film Spaceballs, for length Sadavias and Optimatus home world in the animated series Lunatics Unleashed. The name is an homage to animator Friz Furlang, Gordon A. Planet visited in the British claymation series Rex the Runt. All the inhabitants of the planet are sapient plant pots who are all called Gordon, with the exception of one named John. The planet is referenced frequently but is never actually seen, Hideaway an entertainment planet appearing in the comic novel Bikini Planet by David S. Garnett, and briefly in the precursor novel Stargonauts, try a version of Earth in which everything is backwards in the sci-fi television comedy Red Dwarf, Jupiter 2 a planet mentioned by name in Spaceballs. It is mentioned as being close to Druidia, but it is not actually shown on screen, Kuzbane a mysterious planet full of weird aliens, encountered several times in the television puppet comedy The Muppet Show, Kukura Kabu a scalene ellipsoid planet from the Philippine comedy fantasy series, Koki at AKO. It is populated by the Kukura Kabukan race, Markler A planet that appeared in four episodes of the animated television series South Park, most prominently in Starvin Marvin in Space, where all nouns are replaced by the word Markler, Melmac the home planet of the alien Gordon Shumway in the television situation comedy Alf. Orc the home planet of the humanoid alien Mork in the television situation comedy Mork and Mindy, Planet X the women-only planet of Queen Zombina in the parodic musical Zombies from the Beyond, Planet X the source of Illudium Fostex, the shaving cream Adam, in the 1953 animated short comedy film Duck Dodgers in the 24 one half th century, Pop star A planet in the Kirby series of video games. It is star shaped and has a sun and moon that revolves around it. Rimulak, the home planet of the aliens in the comedy sketches The Coneheads, Rigel for the home planet of drooling aliens Kong and Kodos on the animated comedy The Simpsons, Rimmerworld, a planet populated by millions of clones of Arnold Rimmer who had spent 600 years alone on this planet creating clones of himself in a failed attempt to create a girlfriend. From Red Dwarf, Shrub Planet the home world of the alien Shrubs in the video game Mario and Luigi, Partners in Time, Skyron Planet in the Andromeda Galaxy, home of immense blamanges, in a Monty Python's Flying Circus comedy sketch, Spaceball Planet of the Spaceballs, ruled by President Scrobe in the movie Spaceballs, where it has no atmosphere, Sushi a metafictional planet mentioned in Ed, Ed and Eddie, mentioned as the setting for the horror film I Was a Teenage Appetizer from Planet. Sushi, The Second Coming, Thargoidia the home world of the Thargoids in the Captain Kremen series by Kenny Everett. The city of Gordadia is the planetary capital city, Thrib a planet seen in an episode of Rex the Runt. The planet itself is merely an asteroid with a lecture hall at its north pole, and the inhabitants all resemble the Easter Island statues, Vega, in the film Spaceballs, 
the spaceship Eagle 5 crash lands on the desert moon of Vega after running out of fuel, Xenon the home planet of Roger Wilco, janitor, in the humorous computer game series Space Quest, Yekok, home planet of protagonist, Koki from the Filipino series Koki at AKO, Yugopotamia a comic opposite planet mentioned in the animated comedy The Fairly Odd Parents. Alphabetical list A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P R S T U V W Z Other lists Parallel Earths Planets of the Solar System Artificial Planets Fantastic Planets Comic Planets Books Similar Fictions Fan Fiction